Hello and welcome. I have been making Harry Potter videos for almost seven years now, so my knowledge of the series is vast. A bunch of people on Twitter and Instagram actually just challenged me and said that I should take the Harry Potter quizzes on Wizarding World to test my Harry Potter knowledge and film it. So that's what we're going to do today. I am going to test my Harry Potter knowledge by taking the Wizarding World tests and see how I do. Now, I've never really looked at these quizzes before, so I'm kind of excited to do it. All right, so we're going to start with the Battle of Hogwarts quiz. And you guys can kind of take this with me and test your own knowledge as I go. Um, so yeah, let's do it. Let's start the quiz. I've been told that these are incredibly hard, so I guess we'll see. Which pub provides the secret passage into Hogwarts, the Hogshead? Which of the following Horcruxes is not destroyed during the battle? The Gaunt Ring? Yeah. What is the last spell Harry uses against Voldemort? His classic Expelliarmus disarming spell. Who leads the Hogwarts house elves into battle? Creature. That was such a cool moment in the book. I really wish that the movies had that. What weapon does Trelawney use against Fenrir Greyback? She drops something on him for sure. Not Sherry. No, it's Crystal Balls. She drops Crystal Balls on him when he went after Lavender. Who was the first to see Harry's dead body when Hagrid brings him out of the forest? Uh, in the movie it was Ginny, but I think in the book it was McGonagall. Yeah. What type of wood is the wand made out of that Harry uses to vanquish Voldemort? Hawthorne. Boom. Okay, interesting. So wait, what is this with the different houses? House leaderboard. Oh! Is this like they compare? Oh, so I'm not logged in. So I'm a Gryffindor. So I would have gotten points for Gryffindor. So this is all the people that took the quiz when they were logged in. It's fitting that Ravenclaw is the number one because they are supposed to be the smartest. Then Gryffindor. Then Hufflepuff and Slytherin's in last place. Slytherin's are slacking. All right, let's do the next quiz. The history of magic quiz. Powered by Riddle. What? Took me to another website? You have to pay for it? That's stupid. All right, I guess we're not gonna do that one. The even lesser known characters quiz. So this one you don't have to pay for. That's so dumb that you have to pay for it. I saw a lesser known characters quiz and I was like, no, let's make it even harder. Let's do the lesser known character quiz. All right, let's get into it. Which of the following students was a beater on the Gryffindor team after Fred and George left Hogwarts? Uh, Jimmy Peaks. What was the name of the fat lady's friend from another portrait? Violet. Which of the following people did not play on the Irish national Quidditch team? Shoot. Walsh? Yeah. That one was a guess. I'm going to be honest. That one was a guess. I didn't know that one. Which house was Rose Zeller sorted into in the Order of the Phoenix? <laughs> Rose Zeller. Hufflepuff? Yeah, that one was a guess too. I'm going to be honest. I'm not going to lie to you guys. Those, those were guesses. What was the name of the photographer who accompanied Rita Skeeter and Goblet of Fire? Oh, Bozo. I know that from my uh, Breakdown Easter Egg videos. Who was Karadok? Caradoc Dearborn. Wasn't that a member of the Order? Yeah. Which magical object did Egbert the Egregious once possess? The Elder Wand. Alright, we got 7 out of 7 again, but I'm going to be honest, I guessed on two of those. They were they were educated guesses, I will say that. They were more educated. Like, like I recognized the names of the ones that were on the team, and I kind of did uh, process of elimination a little bit. But yeah, once again, Ravenclaw. Wow, people did not do well on this one. 2.97, 2.92, 2.75, and Slytherin, 2.65. Yikes. All right, so far, we're 14 for 14. All right, let's do the next one, the Department of Mysteries quiz. I should do well on this one because I made a video doing a deep dive into, into the Department of Mysteries. So let's see how I do. What are the employees of the Department of Mysteries known as? Unspeakables. One of the coolest parts about the Department of Mysteries are the unspeakables. The people that work there that no one really knows anything about or what they do. What was the name of the unspeakable who was killed by Devil's Snare in St. Mungo's? Oh, that was uh, Broderick Bode. Who was attacked by Nagini while guarding the Department of Mysteries? That was Arthur Weasley. He got jacked up by Nagini. Who did Voldemort trick Harry into thinking 
was in danger to lure him to the Department of Mysteries. Sirius Black. Who was not one of the DA members that joined Harry in the Battle of the Department of Mysteries? Dean Thomas. That one was easy. When Hermione was injured by Dalahoff in the Battle of the Department of Mysteries, how many potions did she need did she need to take each day to recover? I'm gonna say seven? Oh no. Ten. Alright, I got one wrong. I got one wrong. I guess seven because that's like the number that pops up all the time. Alright, when Harry and his friends were surrounded by Death Eaters in the Hall of Prophecy, what spell did they cast to escape? In the movie, it was Stupefy, but I think in the book, it was Reducto. Shoot. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna go with Reducto. Yes, okay. Woo! Broke a little sweat there. Which Death Eater was responsible for killing Sirius Black in the room with the veil? Bellatrix Lestrange. That one's easy. What began to suffocate Ron in, in the Department of Mysteries? A brain. I wish they kept that in the movie. That was such a wild scene in the book. Who accidentally kicked the prophecy which caused it to smash? In the movie, Sirius punched Lucius Malfoy, but Neville was the one to kick it. All right, nine out of 10, so we got one wrong. Um, still better than the average though, still better than the average. Every single time though, it's first is Ravenclaw, then Gryffindor, then Hufflepuff, then Slytherin, interesting. All right, true or false Quidditch edition? Let's check this one out. So far, I've only gotten one wrong. Ron's favorite Quidditch team were Pride of... No, it was uh, Chudley Cannons. False. During his first game as Seeker, Harry caught his snitch in his right hand. False. He caught it in his mouth. Lynch was one of the members of the Irish Quidditch team who played in the, in the World Cup Final. True. Yeah. Quidditch Through the Ages was written by Kenilworthy Wisp. Yes, true. In Prisoner of Azkaban, the Gryffindor Quidditch team were playing Ravenclaw when Dementor swarmed the pitch. False, they were playing Hufflepuff. Ludo Bagman previously played for the Wing Wigtown Wonders. False. Roger Davies was captain of the Hufflepuff Quidditch team. No, it was uh, Ravenclaw. All right. Wow, people didn't do very well on this quiz. All right, so far I've only missed one. Let's see what we got next. Harry Potter character's middle name quiz. What was Ron Weasley's middle name? Ronald Billius Weasley. Which of these was not one of Albus Dumbledore's middle names? Okay, Albus, Percival, Wolfric, Brian, Dumbledore. Regulus then. What was Remus Lupin's middle name? John. Remus John Lupin. All right, what was Draco Malfoy's middle name? Lucius. What was Hermione Granger's middle name? Hermione Jean Granger. What was Tom Riddle, aka Voldemort's middle name? Marvolo, after his grandfather. What was Harry Potter's middle name? James, after his father. All right, what was Ginny Weasley's middle name? Molly, after her mother. What was Harry's son, Albus, Albus Potter's middle name? Albus Severus Potter, after Severus Snape. What was Dolores Umbridge middle name? Jane. Dolores Jane Umbridge. 10 out of 10. Looks like people did better on this one. The average for Ravenclaw was 7.11. All right, complete the quote quiz. There were a bunch of these for different characters, but I had to do it for my favorite character, Voldemort, of course. So let's see how we do. Kill the spare, talking about Cedric. I crushed them as I crushed your mother, blank supposed Blank supposed great love. Snape? I don't know what that line is from. There will be no more houses. The emblem, shield, and colors of my noble ancestor Salazar Slytherin will suffi suffice for everyone. You show spirit and bravery and you come of noble stock. You will make a very valuable Death Eater. We need your kind, Neville Longbottom. Do not lie to Voldemort blank for he knows, he always knows. Muggle, I believe. Yeah. They who had seen proofs of the immense of the immensity of my power in the times uh any wizard living. My bad. I did a really bad job reading that for you guys. We are not playing hide and seek. Is that an option? Yeah. <laughs> I knew that before I even looked at the options. Be quiet, Bella. Yeah. 
I didn't even have to read the rest. I just know that line so well. Be quiet, Bella. I love the way that the audiobook read that too. Blank inspires envy. Greatness. See what I have become, mere shadow and vapor. Yeah, okay. All right, another perfect score. Oh, this one, Gryffindor won. Look at that. And Slytherin still at the bottom. They knew the most significant Slytherin the least out of anybody. Interesting. The Severus Snape Mega Quiz. 20 questions. Okay, let's do it. Firstly, an easy one. Snape was head of which house? Slytherin. And he taught which subject when Harry first joined Hogwarts? Potions. Then in Harry's sixth year, which subject did he teach instead? Defense Against the Dark Arts. Snape was a talented Occlumens. True. Complete this quote. What would I get if I added powdered root of asphodel to an infusion of wormwood? Snape was a pure blood wizard. False. He was half blood. He was the half blood prince. What was the nickname that Snape gave himself at school? Oh, there you go. The half blood prince. <laughs> Who said this to Snape? You fool. Is a schoolboy grudge worth putting an innocent man back inside Azkaban? Uh, Remus Lupin said that to him about Sirius Black. Which of these spells did Snape not create as the Half-Blood Prince? Muffliato, he did. Sectum Sempra, he did. Levy Corpus, he did. Snape's Patronus took the form of a serpent. No, it took the form of a doe, just like Lily's, because he was in love with her. Who was Snape in love with until the day he died? Lily Potter. There we go. Complete this quote. It's, it is Veritaserum, a truth, po a truth potion so powerful that blank drops would have you spilling your innermost secrets. Three drops. What was the name of Snape's mother? Eileen Prince. Snape was briefly headmaster of Hogwarts. True, he was in the Deathly Hallows. Complete this Snape quote. I can teach you how to bottle fame, brew glory, even stop her death. Yes, fame. Snape killed Dumbledore on Voldemort's orders. False, he killed him on Dumbledore's order orders. Who said this to Snape? You see what you see what you expect to see, Severus. Other teachers report that the boy is modest, likable, and reasonably talented. Albus Dumbledore said that to him during the Prince's Tale. Snape took 50 points from Gryffindor when Ron threw a crocodile heart at Malfoy. True. Complete this Snape quote. That is the second time you have spoken out of turn, Miss Granger. Five points from Gryffindor for being an insufferable know-it-all. Where did Snape live as a child? Spinner's End. All right, 20 out of 20. Nice. So Raven, that Ravenclaw's got a 14.17. Yeah, once again, it's the same order. Slytherin students are not looking too good. All right, let's see what other quizzes we have. All right, this one looks cool. The Who Said It quiz, Harry, Ron, or, Her or Hermione. This one is 10 questions. All right, let's do it. You're saying it wrong. It's Wingardium Leviosa. Make the gar nice and long. Yeah, so the movie actually changed that. Uh, it's Hermione. But the movie actually changed that. They said it's Leviosa, not Leviosa. But in the book, it was gar. There's no need to call me sir, professor. One of the most legendary lines from Harry said to Severus Snape. Books and cleverness, there are more important things. Friendship and bravery. Hermione Granger said that to Harry in the first in the first book. Don't let it worry you. It's me. I'm extremely famous. Ron said that in the uh, 19 years later, the epilogue. Excuse me. Are you the imprint of a de of a departed soul, Ron? Wow. I wonder what it'd be like to have a difficult life, Harry. I mean, we should tell them to get out. We don't want any more Dobbies, do we? We can't order them to die for us. Ron said that right before his kiss with Hermione. He said that they need to make sure that the house elves are out of the castle during the Battle of Hogwarts. Just because you've got the emotional range of a teaspoon doesn't mean we all have. Hermione said that to Ron when they were talking about Cho Chang. No thanks. The poor toilets never had anything as horrible as your head down it. It might be sick. I believe Harry said that. Oh, of course. I forgot we'll be hunting down Voldemort in, in a mobile library. Ron. Perfect score. Once again, Ravenclaw at the top, Gryffindor second, Hufflepuff third, and Slytherin fourth. Come on, Slytherins, do better, dude. <laughs> Who said it quiz Marauders edition? I like that one. Let's check this one out. Who said it? I haven't poisoned that chocolate, you know. 
Remus Lupin said that's a Harry on the train. Who said you can run around with, with a werewolf once a month? James Potter said that's a Wormtail. But the Ministry never knew that there used to be three unregistered Animagi running around Hogwarts. Remus Lupin. Also, yes, that is how you say Animagi. It's said with a J, not a, like a J, not a G. According to Rowling. You are truly your father's son, Harry, Sirius Black. When Snape tried to communicate with the writers of the Marauder's Map who offered this insult, bids Professor Professor Snape goodbye. Um, I think that was Peter Pettigrew. Yeah. Sorry, I didn't read that one very well. You can read it yourself. <laughs> who said, when did I ever sneak around people who were stronger and more powerful than myself? Serious Black said that when they were talking about Wormtail. Who said, I am a faithful servant? Peter Pettigrew, obviously. Who said, that suggests that you fear, what you fear most of all is fear. Very wise, Harry. Remus Lupin. Who said, if you want to know what a man's like, take a good look at how he treats his inferiors, not his equals. I believe that was Remus Loop. Oh, I got that one wrong. It was serious. All right, I got most of them right. Who said it until the very end? That was James Potter. Damn it, I'm mad I missed that one. Man. All right, so I've missed two out of I don't even know how many. Uh, still pretty good, still pretty good. Wow, people did not do well on this one though, looking at these results. Five out of 10 for all of the houses. And same order again, Ravenclaw, Gryffindor, Hufflepuff, Slytherin. It, it makes sense that Ravenclaw is always first. I love that. Like it means that they sorted well. All right, we're gonna do one more. Let's, let's make it a good one. This one sounds interesting. A really rather long Harry Potter quiz. Oh, you gotta pay for this one. That's so dumb. All right, the boy who lived quiz. Why is there no quiz? I guess we can't do that one. Oh, this is a good one. When was the first time we met this Harry Potter character? Let's end with that one. Seven questions, let's do it. In which Diagon Alley shop did Harry first meet Draco Malfoy? That was Madame Malkins, as they're getting their, their robes. In which story do we first encounter Luna Lovegood? The Order of the Phoenix. Where does Harry first meet Tonks? Um, at the, no, not at the order. I was going to say at Grimmel Place, but no, uh, at Privet Drive, she picked him up. Where does Harry first meet Gilderoy Lockhart? Diagon Alley. What is the name of the village where Harry first meets Slughorn? Budley Babberton. In the books, where in Hogwarts does Harry first see Moaning Myrtle? In the movie, it was in the girl's bathroom, but in the Book, it was at the death day party, which I think was in the dungeons. Yeah. When Harry first meets Hermione, who is she looking for? Trevor Neville's Toad. Wow, people didn't do very well on that one. 4.2. Wow. Gryffindor is the first on this one, though. It's not Ravenclaw. Gryffindor finally beat Ravenclaw out. So that was fun, guys. I got two answers wrong out of I don't even know how many. So clearly making videos on this channel has made my Harry Potter knowledge incredibly vast, which is really, really cool. Like, it's cool that people can just ask me questions on Twitter or DM me on Instagram and just ask me questions and I can just sit there and be like, oh, yeah, this is the answer. Like, it's a really, really cool thing that having this Movie Flame channel has gifted me and making videos for you guys has gifted me. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Let me know how you guys did on these quizzes if you were following along and testing your own Harry Potter knowledge. Um, I'm excited to hear how you guys did. Um, but yeah, I know this is a different video than normal, but thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.